What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very, very good day today, because today is the weekly Cheebit questions. And so before I begin, I'm just going to say hopefully all of you guys' holidays are doing really well. I mean, I know Christmas has already passed, and I know there's many of you out there that might not have celebrated Christmas, but it's still technically somewhat the holiday season for different places around the world. So I just want to say happy holidays to all of you out there, and also have a happy rest of the year. So with that being said, I want to tell you right now, if you hear anything in the background, I have my heater. I got my heater right here. I, I have it boiling right in my face. It's, it's cold. Like, my nose is numb right now. See my breath. Got a blanket, literally got a blanket on me and all that. Got my long, you know, my sweater and stuff. My, uh, my One Punch Man sweater, as you can see here. So I'm like, yeah, I'm freezing. I, I, I'm legit freezing. I'm cold. But I'm like, you know what, regardless if I'm cold or not, let us get this Cheebit questions out. I'm here to record. So, yeah, hopefully it's not as cold where you guys are at. I mean, I really, really hope not. Hopefully you guys have some form of shelter. At the very least, good warmth and insulation in your house. So let's start answering these questions. Ever wonder what Bakugo's hero name would be? What about Kachan, since Izuku is Deku? I think the only appropriate name for Bakugo would be King of Explodo Kills. Will you protect Earthchan, my boy? This is something I have seen quite often recently. I've actually seen, you know, Earthchan circulate on Twitter quite a bit. I don't know exactly what made this, uh, I'm assuming it's a meme by now. I don't know what made it so popular, but... I have seen, like, the original image where you see, like, Earth-chan, she's, like, all beat up and hurt. She's like, I still love you, you know, human-chan. It was a really depressing picture, but at the same time, it's exactly what we technically do to Earth. It's just, what these pictures are kind of trying to do is showcase if the planet actually had feelings and was a person, that's technically what we're doing to it. We're hurting, the, you know, the overall planet, we're hurting Earth, and we're not really caring too much about it, even though we're destroying the health of the planet. I mean, I guess that's the whole concept and point of what these pictures are, but it's gotten incredibly popular recently. I mean, there's like a bunch of uh, different planets. I saw the sun yesterday. I saw someone do the sun. They did like sunshine, I and mean, I saw moon as well. So I know it's became a very popular meme. Will you protect Earthchan, my boy? Uh, yeah, I'll protect that smile. I'll definitely try to protect Earthchan. If Game of Thrones characters were introduced in Fate, what class would these guys fall under? Jon Snow. I would say Saber class. Jamie Lannister? Uh, I'd say Lancer for his horrible luck, thanks to Cersei. Um, Cersei Lannister, I would say Caster, or Assassin. I, although, Caster seems like it would suit her because of the power and all that. Uh, yeah, I, I would go with Caster. Daenerys? Mm, Ryder. Um, Tyrion? Uh, I would also say Ryder since it's, you know, friendly attitude and all that. The Hound? I would either give him Lancer status or or Berserker status. Lancer because of how unlucky he is, but Berserker status because he's the Hound. The Mountain, obviously he's Berserker. Littlefinger, Assassin. Braun. don't really know what to label him as. I, I would just say, you know, let, let's just... <sighs> Caster? I, I would say Caster. Um, Fionn Greyjoy, I would say he would be the Lancer. Uh, the next one, mm, I don't really know. I'd say Lancer, I'll just throw a Lancer too. Uh, Bran, mm, Caster as well, Arya Stark. Uh, I would say Assassin. Sansa, I could see her being the... S no, no, I'll take it back. Arya as Saber, Sansa as... As either Assassin or Caster, one or the other. That's what I would assume the classes would be. Did you know Netflix made an erased live-action TV series with an all-Japanese cast? I did hear about that. I did see it, actually, the other day when I was looking at, you know, movies to watch on Netflix. I saw uh, the new Will Smith movie. I saw that on Netflix. I was going to watch that, and then I saw Erased on there. I was like, oh, what? Like, Erased got a legit... TV series. Now, I don't know exactly if this is just Netflix gaining the rights of a show and putting it on its platform, or if actually Netflix made Erased. I have no idea. Regardless, though, I wasn't the biggest fan of Erased after having time to think about it. I already stated my opinion on it. I didn't like the Erased anime after thinking about the ending and all that. I don't know if the live-action series corrects anything or not, but I'm probably not going to watch it. What happened to the Black Clover reviews? Uh, I kind of, like, just dropped it because the series is just very, very slow. The anime is just... It's atrocious. Studio Clown is just making it unbearable with how slow they are making the series, so I just, like, I can't anymore. I can't just, you know, 
do videos anymore on this because it just I feel like I'd be repeating myself over and over because there's not much progression whatsoever. What's your favorite album and show? Could be from Netflix or anime of the year. Mine for album was Star Set Vessels and for show it was between Made in the Abyss and Stranger Things 2. Uh, favorite, favorite album. I don't really have a favorite album. I, I guess I would give something from anime. My favorite music from this year of anime. Something to start to do. I, I would give it to Made in the Abyss, similar to you. And, uh, favorite show from the year. Favorite show for this year. I don't really know. That's a very hard question. Now, obviously, this can change if I think about more shows. But just something that I'm always constantly thinking about, I would say, would be Boku no Hero Academia. Season 2. That, that, that's something that comes to my mind, but if I was to sit and think about it, all the stuff that came out this year, it would probably be something else. But for right now, as an easy answer, I'd say Boku no Hero. Foxy the Pirate with his Devil Fruit Awoken won't be broken, be honest. Technically, when you think about it, if Foxy had Awakened Devil Fruit, that means he would be technically like Dio. He would have Zawaldo do. That That's basically what he would have. So, uh... Foxy would be broken. He would have time stop abilities all around him. So, yeah, he would be, um, broken. Yeah, he'd be like Dio. He'd legit be Dio. Is math related to science? JK. Any chance for Golden uh, Comwe review? Golden Comwe is something on my radar. I heard it's getting an anime. And so don't worry, I am going to review that when it finally does get its anime. Don't worry. That, that's been on my radar for a while. I've known about it and all that, so don't worry. That will be getting reviews when the anime comes out. What is your favorite class in Dark Souls? Uh, I don't really necessarily have a favorite class, but there's always something I always go for. It's like great swords. That's always something I go for. It's just like a big, heavy build with great swords. That's usually something I go to first. Pluto or Earth? How to make NASA regret a decision? I guess I'm not really a planet, but Pluto Chan will always be here even if I'm far away. Oh, so now we have Pluto Chan instead of Earth Chan, Moon Chan, Sun Chan. Now we have Pluto Chan. Okay. So this is how to make people feel bad for planets now? That th This is definitely a full-on meme nowadays. Since Season 2 of Nananasu no Taizai is coming, I want to know which character you think relates to you the most and why. I would say a character that relates to me the most, I don't really have. But if there's a character that I just think is just epic all around and I just truly, truly freaking love, I would say Escanor. I, I, I would go with Escanor. I'm an unsettled guy, I think. So I don't know what to ask. Just give me a spotlight if you think. Okay, okay. So you don't know what to ask, but you're like, give me a spotlight. You, you know what? There you go. Ha Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I know it's past Christmas. Don't correct me. But, you know, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All that. There you go. I give you that spotlight. Senpai has noticed you. Best OSTs out of the big three. That's very funny. Th I, this is a very funny question to me. You want to know why? I was having a conversation with my uh, friends on Xbox the other day about four or five days ago, it was a while ago, it was like right before Christmas or whatever, and I was having a conversation with them, we were talking about One Piece, we were talking about Naruto and Bleach, and we were all saying like, okay, so what's your favorite soundtrack from all of the big three? And we got sitting down thinking about it, and th this conversation stemmed from, because, you know, I've been rewatching One Piece with my friend, and he's, uh, you know, right now we're in the middle of Dres Rosa about to finish it, but um, we were talking about music and stuff and how he loved One Piece music, and when we started discussing like the big three, and I came down to saying like, Okay, so what do you think would be the uh, best music out of the big three? Like, who has the best soundtracks? And I came down to saying Naruto. Now, I, even though I preferably prefer One Piece over Naruto, Naruto had some really good songs, beautiful songs, and it always got me hyped up, especially the pain music, the modern music, and all that. And that, that was always the music that just got me truly hyped up every single week. So, best OSTs out of the big three, in my personal opinion, would be Naruto. Greetings, Chibi. What's your favorite type of steak? Sirloin, ribeye, etc. Do you prefer it well done, medium well, medium well, or rare? I would say my favorite is sirloin. And I really love medium uh, rare. Medium rare steak is usually my go-to steak. Thoughts of my name, Jono Taku. That's how I've always said. I've always thought it was Jono Otaku. It could be John Ta Otaku. I have no idea exactly how you pronounce it in your head. But uh, every time I've seen the name, I've always thought of like you know John uh, or jo uh, Jono Taku. That's what I've always said. So um, I think it's a cool name. It's a nice play on words and all that. I, um, I'm going to assume your name is actually John, since it has J-O-N. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. It's a good name. It's, it's pretty nice. I like the mix of, you know, the name and Otaku. Yo, Big Chi Chi Chibe! Would you rather get fed pie in slow-mo from Rim and Rom as Felis nibbles your ear or play strip shogi with Mount Lady while Momo feeds you grilled chicken? My boy. My boy. My boy. Boy, I'm going to go with Mount Lady and Momo, okay? That that sounds like a favorite Jim Carrey movie. Mine would be The Grinch and Bruce Almighty and Have a Wonderful Day. 
Uh, I haven't watched a lot of Jim Carrey's newest stuff. I haven't. Um, one that I always think about. I do like his performance in Grinch. But I do like his performance in Bruce Almighty. So, you know, I'm going to take an easy route here. I'm going to say Bruce Almighty. His role in Bruce Almighty was pretty funny. So I'll give him that. Have you seen the new anime adaptation of Victor Hugo's Les Maris uh, Miserables? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, 52 episodes and is very faithful to the books with a few minor changes. I have not heard about it, actually. I'm not, I, at For a sec there, I thought I did, but no, I have not heard about it. It's 52 episodes. How old is the show? And what exactly is it about? Could you uh, let me know in the comments below? Because I've never really heard about it. Garter belts or fishnets on Holo? Fishnets, though. I, I need them fishnets. Hey, Chibi, hope you're having a great day. If you were a Pokemon trainer, which region would you live in and why? I would either live in the Johto region or Alola region. One of those regions are usually ones I want to go to, but most likely Johto. I just really love the culture and the way Johto region was done, so I would say I'd pick a, I'd pick a Pokemon trainer in the Johto region because I thought it was just so amazing, just the style of the Pokemon there to just the landscape and all that, to the the trainers and story and stuff. It just, it'd be a good region to live in. So I would say, yeah, as a Pokemon trainer and I could live in it, I would say Johto region. Did you watch Stranger Things? Well, of course I watched Stranger Things. Did I Did I never talk about finishing season two? I may have said something on Netflix. I mean, not Netflix. I may have said something on uh, Twitter, but I might not have ever mentioned it, actually, on uh, on uh, these cheap questions. Hmm. Yes, I have watched Stranger Things, and I have finished season one and season two. Really like season two. And you know what? I want to be honest here, okay? Um, I like Stranger Things. The only thing I didn't like about the first season was the acting with the children. The children's acting, like the children, they, I don't know, the way they act, I didn't like. I liked Eleven. Eleven's acting was nice, I, completely fine, but the children voice acting or acting in general is just like, meh. But uh, Stranger Things 2, like season 2, it was, um, it was a lot better. Hands down, it was a lot better than season 1, story-wise, to character development, characterization, all that. The children still had some cringy moments with their acting, but overall, I do believe season 2 is a hell of a lot better, and it's definitely a good show. I don't think it's as good as everybody makes it out to be. Like, I feel like it's a little bit overrated in my personal opinion, but it's still a very good show, and I do see why it became very popular in recent times. Do you have a Switch, or do you intend to buy one? I do not have a Switch. I do intend to buy one, because I have heard that the next generation of Pokemon games is going to be on the Switch and not on the 3DS, which kind of sucks because I don't really play my 3DS for anything besides Pokemon, so I'm kind of upset that I'm going to have to buy a Switch just to play Pokemon, but things like that, I guess, happen. So yes, I will be buying a Switch when the new generation of Pokemon comes out. Is this you? Christmas noobs are coming. <laughs> I have seen this before, and I do have to say that the way the image looks, it does look like me. I, I won't even deny that. It looked like me as a kid. If you ever seen how I looked as a kid, it does look like me. I know I have some pictures somewhere around. Maybe one of these days I'll share them, but uh, it does look like me. However, let me give some uh, fact checks here, just to clarify. I never owned an Xbox 360 Elite, which that is what that is, or an Xbox Slim or whatever, Xbox 360 Slim. I never owned one of them. I only ever owned the original Xbox 360. The only one that ever had the Elite was my dad, because I remember getting him one, and I upgraded to an Xbox One, or Xbox One, and I did not like Call of Duty. I've never liked Call of Duty at all. Now, you don't shoot at me or whatever, I, I don't like Call of Duty. It's, it's not my game, and so seeing, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops there, and seeing Modern Warfare 3... Not my games, not something I like to play. However, Gears War 3, now that's my stuff. That that That's my game. That's what I like to play. So, uh, yeah. Image overall, it looks like me, but it's not me just because of the Call of Duty and then the Xbox. Why do mediocre anime always get a Season 2 announcement so quickly compared to super popular anime, which takes way too long? That is a question I have always asked myself. Every time I see, like, a new episode or a new season of some form of etchy harem fan service series, I'm just thinking to myself, like, really? That can get a season two, that can get a season three, that can get a season four, you know what series I'm talking about, but for some reason we can't get, like, a season three of Spice and Wolf, or we can't get a season two of Roka, we can't get, like, a season two of, uh, or season three of Relga, which that could potentially happen soon. But I'm just saying, like, it really kind of ticks me off and tilts me a bit to know that we constantly get the same thing rehashed over and over. We're always getting that same generic 
fan service harem series. That's the exact same thing with just a new coat of paint. But, and that continuously sells. But you have something new and unique like Roka, it does absolutely horrible, and it just collapses, and well, we're never going to get a season two. So, uh, yeah. It does make me, make me very angry, and it's something I qu a question I've always asked myself every time I see a good series just not get recognition. Notice me, Senpai, no, but seriously, I've been having a really bad day, and it would make my day if you noticed me, Senpai. Senpai has noticed you. Have you had time to check out that web novel series I mentioned to you called The Titan Empire? Also here, a random Blake photo I found on the internet by Kimmy77 didn't show the picture. Just gonna say it, but um, I will look it up. But um, The Titan Empire, no, I have not checked it. And so, yeah, I just haven't had the time to get around to checking it out. I've been a little bit busy with the holidays, to Doki Doki recently, just other things on the side. But I will check it out. I want to introduce my uncle to one of my favorite anime series. Should I choose Code Geass or Gren Lagan? You want to introduce him to anime, one of your favorite anime. Now, here's a quick question, okay? I'm going to assume your uncle is new to anime. If he is new to anime, I would recommend starting off with Gren Lagan. And the reason why is, is because Gren Lagan is a very fun series. You don't need to have a high, like, attention span, or you don't need to go too deep into it to kind of get grasp or understand kind of what's going on. I'm not putting on Gurren Lagan by any means. I'm not. But I'm just saying, in terms of storytelling, Code Geass or Gurren Lagan, I would just say it'd be easier to digest Gurren Lagan over Code Geass. And Gurren Lagan could easily be covered quickly compared to Code Geass since there's two seasons. So I would say, introduce your uncle to Gurren Lagan. Because it would introduce him to a very iconic classic series with great animation and art and all that. And it might open the door up for more stuff in the future. However, if you're willing to bend a little bit, I recommend kind of trying to make him watch the Death Note anime. That's a really good starter anime for anyone if they're new to anime in general. What type of camera do you use for your reviews? I use a Nikon D3300. Would you rather date a trap or a tomboy? Tomboy all the way, because you know what I like, you know what I'm into, so it's obvious I would choose a tomboy. What's your favorite One Piece opening? Most likely, Share the World. It's something I've always listened to most often. I've always listened to it ever since I finished that opening. I never skipped that opening when it was airing at the time, so yeah, I'd say Share the World One Piece opening. How would you rank the Higurashi series compared to other series you've seen over the years? I'd put it in my top 10 or top 15 favorite anime series over the years. It's just the storytelling of it to the seasons and stuff, it was just truly an amazing series that blew my mind. And so, yeah, I would say top 10, top 15. Easily. Smash or pass yourself. That is the ultimate form of narcissism that you're asking me. Like, you're basically saying, are you narcissistic enough to smash yourself? Okay, I, you know, let's be a little bit real here. All YouTubers in some shape or form are a little bit narcissistic because, I mean, we gotta sit and edit our videos. And so you're technically seeing yourself while you're editing, unless you have an editor for you, then that's an entirely different, you know, discussion topic. But basically, majority of YouTubers that edit their own videos, they're a little bit narcissistic to be sitting there and editing themselves to make a video. So we're all a little bit narcissistic inside. But is my narcissism at that level to where I would want to smash myself? No. Now, let's just say if I was a, uh, if I was a girl, or whatever, or a guy, and I was into me, or whatever, or if I saw me, would I want to smash myself? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in terms of, I'm very self-conscious about the way I look. I'm very self-conscious about my hair. I know my facial hair needs to be shaded and all that, and my, my, how tall I am. I'm very self-conscious about that. Um, I probably... Probably pass. That's probably, probably. I know, I know. I, it's cruel to say to myself, I'll probably pass. I don't know. I'm just very self conscious about myself. Between Earth Chan and Wendy's Chan, who was the best girl of 2017? Hollow is always best girl every, you know, year. But uh, jokes aside, though, I would say Wendy's had more of an impact. It was funny. I love the memes that came out of that. Earth Chan's an incredibly new meme, but I'm just like. Okay, you're basically just trying to spread awareness for the planet, keep the planet safe and protected, which is a good thing, by the way. But I just think I love the uh, sarcastic attitude of Wendy's over Earth, John. So I'm going to have to side with Wendy. Would you date Yuri in real life from Doki Doki despite the gremlin-like voice you've given her? If she had the gremlin-like voice, yeah, I would date her. Honestly, voice doesn't really... Okay, it is something I do look at, but voice doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. As I said many times... In the past, in other videos and stuff, if I was ever to get lucky and have someone, like if I was ever able to get lucky, go out with someone, be with someone or whatever, 
In all honesty, what really matters to me, yes, looks do matter. I'm not going to be one of those guys that say it doesn't. Looks, at the end of the day, they do kind of matter. But, what I really do look at is the personality and how the person interacts with me and all that and kind of if they're into the same things I'm into. For instance, I can't just go out there and find someone that may be pretty because she might not have a personality I like. It could be a straight-up personality I just, I absolutely loathe. Or, you know, she could be someone that may not be the best looking but have a personality that's completely compatible with me. And so, honestly, if I was to meet someone like Yuri in real life and somehow we hit it off, I wouldn't give a crap about the Gremlin Light Boys. I wouldn't. Do you think that Luffy and his crew as they are now would be able to put up a good fight against Kaido or a further power-up is needed? Also, do you think that getting more members is crucial for that fight? I do think at this time, Luffy and his crew are not ready to take down a Yonko. Because Big Mom has already shown time and time again she is way too powerful for them to be able to take her down. Maybe kind of stall her, they could probably do that. But I don't think they have the power to bring down a Yonko. There will definitely need to be a lot more crew members to bring down a Yonko. What do you think about Earthchon memes? I think that has blown up incredibly fast recently. They're slightly annoying in a way, but they're also very cute, and it makes you just feel very upset for pl the planets and stuff. So, yeah. Also, I like that, uh, that JoJo meme you're having right here with Earth John. That's, that's pretty nice. I'll give you that. How is it going with the repairs of your future house, and how are you nowadays? Um, repairs on my future house has been kind of stalled recently. Cold weather and all. It's been very cold, and... Uh, basically just because of the conditions of the weather to the rain we had earlier and all that, just like, it's not possible. It's just not possible to work on it right now, so it's kind of been on hold for a while. So, yeah. What would be your reaction if you saw a cat with scuba gear coming out of your toilet? I would say that's nasty. I've been wanting to buy manga for a while now, but it's expensive as hell. Do you buy your manga retail price, and where do you buy your manga? Um, I usually buy my manga on Amazon, or people send me manga, but usually when I go out of my way to buy stuff, I, I buy it on uh, Amazon. I don't know if that's actually retail price, but that's what I always get, you know, where I get my manga in the first place. If you were a furry, what would your furry name be, and what animal would you dress as? I think that's the last question. <laughs> I would end the video here. That is a, that's too much weird for even me. That's too much weird. Too much weird. No. No, 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 not touching that. I'm not touching that. I'm not. I'm not touching that. I'm sorry. Oh, it's cold. Look, you know, I want to see if you guys can see my breath. You see that? You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. I want to get to editing this video and then try to upload it on time. I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe and happy holidays. If you like this video, you know, please subscribe and leave a like as well if you liked it. Please be safe. Chibi out.